I'm Deirdre Fitzpatrick. And I'm Teo Trez. A lot of people driving and flying from this location to see friends and family, and the weather is more than cooperating. Let's go to meteorologist Tamerberg for a look. Yeah, pretty quiet start to your Tuesday. You'll see here around Sacramento and into West Sac that the flag's barely budging. North wind light at three miles per hour. Skies are mainly clear. Temperature's cool enough that you want the layers if you're just getting ready to head out that door, maybe getting a workout started. Taking the dog for a walk before the sun comes up at 6.54. Yeah, it'll warrant grass the layers to get the day started. As we get beyond the 10 o'clock hour, temperatures will eventually move closer to that 60 degree mark. We'll be seeing a mix of sun and clouds for today. That sunshine kind of dimming the, the, uh, the uh, clouds, kind of dimming the sunshine on occasion. Expect daytime highs to fall in line with close to average in the lower to mid 60s. Wind a non factor for the morning. In fact, those winds have fallen flat in the valley. Been keeping an eye on any fog development. Haven't seen anything yet, especially around the San Joaquin Valley. Your skies right now in Stockton and Modesto are clear. Wind is also calm across the foothills. Expect that today. Those clouds will thicken up today in spots like Auburn and Sonora. We'll be in the upper 50s around 9 a.m., lower 60s by lunchtime, and daytime highs in that lower to mid 60s range across the foothills for today. Coming up in your full forecast, I'll take a complete look at your Thanksgiving day and beyond that for the weekend coming up in just a bit. Deirdre and Teo, back to you. All right, thank you. New this morning, Highway 50 is back open again after another overnight closure in West Sacramento. Westbound 50 at Harbor Boulevard was shut down at around 11 last night so the crews could inspect a pedestrian overcrossing for potential damage. Yesterday, we showed you the gridlock that was caused after a car hit the center divide and then crashed into a sport beam. At this point, we don't know whether or not it is completely done, but they did reopen the road before 4 o'clock this morning. Let's check in with Brian Hickey and at least Things are going a little better in that area today. Yeah, and here's a live picture of that bridge. In fact, this is the pedestrian overcrossing. This is the column that was hit yesterday, and this is westbound Highway 50. As you can see, traffic flowing smoothly through that area, even on the eastbound side, although very light on that eastbound side. Here's Interstate 80 coming into uh, the Antelope area, making your way in towards Sacramento. Westbound traffic here. You can be your taillights, and uh, things moving along smoothly along 80 and Highway 50 with no delays there. We are incident free across the area. Traffic's been very light so far this morning, and uh, really haven't had a whole lot in the way of incidents. Right now, Highway 20 in the Sierra, just east of Lowell Hill Road, the Omega Curve section there. We had a head on collision there. They did have an ambulance respond to that, and they're in the clearing phase of that crash. I 5 and 99 out of Elk Grove coming into downtown. No delays on that stretch, and as you can see, the causeway all in the green as well. 5 and 99, Highway 4, no issues in Stockton. We're not seeing any delays there. And if you're driving up from Modesto into Manteca on 99, still a 14 minute ride there. That puts it in the green. 205 is a 27 minute ride in the Tracy Triangle, and 580, 31 minutes over the Altamont Pass. And here in Sacramento, Sacramento, 10 minute ride on 50, 9 minute ride on 80, and 5 and 99, both at 11 minutes. Dale? All right, good to see. You. Thank you, Brian. Well, new developments this morning on a story we've been following out of Rancho Cordova. Woman's now under arrest on attempted murder charges after Rancho Cordova police officers shot at her. Police say it started when a woman tried to break into a home on Agibi Way with a butcher knife around 10 a.m. yesterday. They then found her just around the corner parked in a driveway in a white car on Malaga Way. At that point, the sheriff's office says two officers fired their weapons. She drove off, triggering a chase. That chase ended in front of a light rail station at Folsom Boulevard and Mather Field. And this morning, Sheriff's Office has released her mugshot. This is Carrie Ann Lyles. They say she had a minor wound on her arm. It's not clear, clear if that was from gunfire. She was booked for attempted murder. The two officers who fired their weapons are on administrative leave. Well, happening right now, hundreds of people are lining up their cars in Stockton to collect a holiday meal. KCR 3's Melanie Wingo joins us at the San Joaquin County Fairgrounds in Stockton with more on this big event for those in need. Good morning. Good morning. Just within the last half hour, we have seen volunteers hard at work setting up the fairgrounds here in San Joaquin County. Take a look behind me. You see all the yellow tape up here in the parking lot. Those will be what are switchbacks for all the cars that are lined up. And we just captured some video, too, of those cars lined up. And no joke, I clocked it out. It is exactly a mile long, that line of cars, everyone waiting to get in here to the fairgrounds, all in advance of the Stockton Emergency Food Bank's Thanksgiving food giveaway. This 
Thanksgiving meal giveaway is an annual tradition where turkey and all the fixins are provided to San Joaquin County residents in what organizers describe as really a seamless distribution system that's been perfected over the years. So as soon as the gates open here in a few minutes, around 615, according to organizers, the cars will make their way in. They'll line up in these switchbacks that I was showing you a bit earlier, and then the volunteers will check IDs, load up the food boxes into the cars. And for people who do plan to come pick up meals here today, you must have an emergency food bank identification card or a photo ID and proof of residency here in San Joaquin County. Also, organizers are asking that you clear out some space in your trunk or in the back of your car so it's very seamless and they're able to put that food box right inside your car. Organizers do expect to hand out thousands of meal boxes today in this really positive giving uh, food box giveaway for the community. Reporting live in Stockton, Melanie Wingo, KCRA 3 News. All right, thank you so much, Melanie. Well, as families prepare for the main course of Thanksgiving, fire and safety officials will show you what not to do if you're cooking a turkey. Firefighters and officials from Cal OES will give a hands-on demonstration on the fire danger when using cooking oil around an open flame. Now, this you're looking at is footage from last year's demonstration. Officials put this on Thanksgiving is usually the day that most people have a fire in the kitchen, or many, many fires originate in the kitchen, I should say. Here's some of the tips they will remind people People of. If you're using a turkey fryer, use it outside. This is an outdoor activity away from the home. Don't do it on a wooden patio. Keep at least three feet of open space around things like your oven, a grill or anything else that could catch fire and have a fire extinguisher available, but several feet from your cooking space. Maybe know how to use it as well. Yeah, totally. Some people run into issues. Yes, they do. So today kicks off the busiest period for our Thanksgiving travel as several million people will be hitting the roads and going to the airport. Yeah, today, tomorrow and Sunday rank is the busiest travel days of the year and travel experts say there's good news for most. KCR 3's Amy Lou is in Washington now to explain what people can expect as they head out. Well, AAA predicts this year will be the third busiest holiday season on record in part because of cheaper gas and fewer canceled flights. It's the mad dash to your holiday destination. This year, more than 55 million Americans are expected to travel over the next five days. Most from behind the wheel, according to AAA. When you hit the road, you're going to have a lot of company, and that's just typical. And good news for drivers, the national average for a gallon of gas is about 37 cents cheaper compared to last year. And they're going to keep falling really to the end of the year, which is what they do every year. We call it the seasonal swoon. Expect more company on the roads and in the skies. TSA predicting a record 30 million passengers will be screened this season. We are seeing more people flying than ever with fewer cancellations than we have seen in years. Those cancellations are half of what they were last year, but transportation leaders are working around the clock, upping efforts to open more airline routes and improve infrastructure and staffing. But warning inclement weather could still put a damper on travel. While we don't control the weather, we're doing everything in our power to keep flights safe. In the case unexpected weather does impact your flight, now is a good time to know your travel rights. You are entitled to a full refund if your airline cancels your flight for any reason and you decide not to rebook. And if you're delayed more than three hours, most major airlines are required to provide a meal voucher and possibly a hotel stay. In Washington, I'm Amy Liu, KCRA 3 News. All right, thank you so much, Amy. Well, speaking of weather delays, Tamara, it's looking like a, a storm here that hit parts of Mississippi. Right. And they need to determine, get on the ground to see if it was a tornado. Now, right. this is an issue, obviously, for people heading to southern states. Right. But this system, could this affect more travelers, maybe up into the east coast? It or? could. There's actually two storms I'm tracking across the nation's midsection and one that's going to impact the east coast going into the Thanksgiving holiday. Today, it looks like, again, the biggest impact we're noticing, Teo, was that uh, issue there around Mississippi, but now that storm is crawling into areas like the Ohio Valley and eventually will move into the East Coast. Good news is you'll notice right now in Sacramento, there are no delays for our local airport and even no delays if you're traveling towards SFO to catch a flight right. and go across the country well, speaking as well. Of, speaking of traveling, uh, have you checked a bag? I mean, I know you can see family in Cleveland and stuff. I do. do you try to carry on? Because or? when you have a toddler and you're going to Cleveland, right. you need a lot of layers. <laughs> yeah, you certainly do. So Tamara, after checking that bag, I mean, you know, you, you can get in trouble. 
possible. But here we're looking pretty good right now, aren't we? Yeah, you know, actually we don't have any major impacts or hiccups as you look at some of the major international hubs across the country. They're all green. So if you're traveling across the country, you're in great shape uh, to go. And eventually, though, you'll see this storm tail. This is the one that I'm talking about that's going to move across the eastern seaboard. Higher elevations of uh, areas there as you get up into Massachusetts may see some snow and a wintry mix as we get in closer to the Thanksgiving holiday. Boy, yeah, look at that. All right, well, NBC's Tom Costello on the Today Show will show us inside the cargo hold to see how they get all those bags Ooh. on and off, usually so fast, <laughs> but here's Tom. Good morning, I'm Tom Costello. We're inside the cargo hold for an American Airlines narrow body plane as they load up for the flight to Miami. They've got to turn this plane quickly. All bags off, everybody off, then all bags on, everybody on. They've got to do it in 45 minutes. On the Today Show, we're going to show you exactly how they get this done as we head into the Thanksgiving Day rush. That's fascinating, isn't it? It's yeah. really interesting. So stalled contract negotiations could disrupt your Christmas and your New Year's travel plans. Flight attendants for American Airlines are asking the feds for the right to go on strike. Their union says workers have not gotten raises since 2019. Pilots in Southwest are also threatening to go on strike if they don't reach contract deal in the next few days. They could be walking off the job as soon as December 29th.